Hello. Welcome back to Chemistry It Is All That Matters and today we're going to continue our journey through stoichiometry and we're going to look at the mole ratio today and the mole ratio is the comparison of moles of products and reactants in a chemical reaction and we're going to use that mole ratio in order to be able to convert between one substance and another in our stoichiometry calculations. So let's look at some samples of how to determine the mole ratio. So I'm going to start with the basic balanced chemical equation for the synthesis of ammonia. And for the synthesis of ammonia, we have nitrogen combining with hydrogen producing ammonia. So N2 plus H2 yields NH3. Now we've put the coefficients in place to balance the chemical equation and those coefficients play an important role in what we need to understand as the mole ratio. Now first we need to understand that the balanced chemical equation provides comparison of ratios of molecules necessary for the completion of the reaction. So it takes one molecule of nitrogen to react with three molecules of hydrogen in order to produce two molecules of ammonia. So here the coefficients are providing the molecular information for this reaction. However, we can also look at this same balanced chemical equation and we can look at what are the ratios of moles for this reaction. So it takes one mole of nitrogen to react with three moles of hydrogen in order to produce two moles of ammonia. So in this case, the coefficients provide the molar information for this chemical reaction. So here we have, again, the balanced chemical equation. And we're going to place an A for the nitrogen, a B for the hydrogen, and C for our ammonia. So if we're going to compare the following, if we want to compare A to B, we are comparing nitrogen to hydrogen, and our reaction will be one mole of nitrogen for every three moles of hydrogen. It is a one to three ratio. If we compare B to A, we are comparing hydrogen to nitrogen. This gives us a three moles of hydrogen to one mole of nitrogen, which is a three to one ratio. If we compare A to C, we are comparing nitrogen to ammonia. And in this case, we have one mole to two moles as our ratio, and our conversion factor is one mole of nitrogen for every two moles of ammonia. And if we compare C to A, we have the comparison of ammonia to nitrogen, and in this case, we have a two to one ratio, giving us a conversion factor of two to one. If we were to take and look at a comparison of B to C, we have hydrogen being compared to ammonia. Conversion factor is 3 to 2, 3 moles of hydrogen for every 2 moles of ammonia, giving us a 3 to 2 ratio. And lastly, C to B gives us ammonia compared to hydrogen in a 2 to 3 ratio, giving us a conversion factor of 2 to 3. So in each case, we're looking at comparing a reactant to a product or a reactant to a reactant. But in each case, we're using the coefficient to create the mole ratio or the mole conversion factor. So why don't you get out a piece of paper? And we, what we will do is we will, I will give you the various values comparing A to B, A to C, or A to D. And on a piece of scratch paper, you can write out your conversion factors and see how you did. So, let's complete the following. What would the conversion factor and mole ratio be for A to B? So A to B is a comparison of propane to oxygen. This is a 1 to 5 ratio, and therefore our conversion factor is 1 mole of propane over 5 moles of oxygen. So let's compare B to A.
So here we have a comparison of oxygen, O2, to propane, C3H8. The ratio is 5 to 1, and our conversion factor is 5 moles of oxygen to 1 mole of propane. Now can compare A to C. So for A to C, we are comparing propane to carbon dioxide. This is a 1 to 3 ratio, and our conversion factor is 1 mole of propane over 3 moles of carbon dioxide. Now compare C to A. So C to A is a comparison of carbon dioxide to propane, and this ratio is 3 to 1, giving us a conversion factor of 3 moles of CO2 over 1 mole of propane. If we were to compare B to C, we would be comparing oxygen to CO2, giving us a value of 5 to 3, and a conversion factor of 5 moles of oxygen to 3 moles of carbon dioxide. So could you go ahead and compare C to B? So you should have a comparison of carbon dioxide to oxygen at a ratio of 3 to 5, giving us a conversion factor of 3 moles of carbon dioxide to 5 moles of oxygen. So if we were to complete the rest of the mole ratios for this balanced chemical equation, we would have B compared to D, oxygen to water, at a 5 to 4 ratio, 5 moles of oxygen to 4 moles of, of water, D to B, water to oxygen, is a 4 to 5 ratio, 4 moles of, of water to 5 moles of oxygen, and C to D is carbon dioxide compared to water at a ratio of 3 to 4, 3 moles of carbon dioxide for 4 moles of water, and lastly D to C, water to carbon dioxide in a 4 to 3 ratio, 4 moles of water to 3 moles of carbon dioxide. So using the coefficients from the balanced chemical equation, we can create mole ratios and thereby create conversion factors that will allow us to do the stoichiometry calculations necessary to convert from one substance to another. Keep working on your chemistry.